Okay, I'm only popping in here super quickly because I very clearly just woke up, but for today's video, I'm going to do one of my most requested videos. We are going to go over my makeup kit, what I use to hold my makeup, a little bit of what is inside. I had a job this weekend, so I haven't cleaned it since, so it might be a little bit used. Um, some things are out of place, some things need restocked, some things need replaced, but you can see it truly in action, I suppose. And I also am constantly switching things in and out of my kit, things that I feel like I want to use, things based on the job, etc, etc. But here is what my kit looks like. I know I'm like, it's hard to see, but all I use, I try to keep it as minimal as possible considering I am not a minimalist but at all. I still kind of overpack. I just have a suitcase here which could be the size of a carry-on. It's like the max size of a carry-on suitcase so it's not too big. I use my Esum bag and then I also use from the brand My Kit Co which you can get on Beautylish. I use this kind of as a purse. It holds my brushes and all the stuff that I will show you. So these three items are what I use to take with me. Let's take a deeper dive. Okay, so we're going to start off with what I call my purse when I go to jobs and whatnot. So this bag is from My Kit Co. And if you're looking for some good travel options or if you're a makeup artist and you're looking for any sort of bag, storage, anything like that, highly recommend this brand. You can get them from Beautylish and I just think that their products are so innovative and thoughtful. They are made for the makeup artist. So this guy is amazing. So it has a clear top cover and right now she's looking sparse because I have all of my dirty brushes in my suitcase which you will see. So these are just the ones that I didn't use but when I start um, a wedding I normally have all of my clean brushes in here and I grab through them and I put them in a cup when they get dirty. So these are the ones that I didn't end up using. I have a whole mixture of all different kinds of brushes. I use Esum brushes. I use Morphe brushes. I use BK Beauty brushes, Coastal Sense brushes, MAC brushes, literally any brand. As long as I like the shape, I really don't care. I typically prefer to use synthetic brushes because those tend to handle multiple washes well. I do have a couple natural hair brushes just because I can't live without my Esum S30 brush for example I have a couple actually right here just to prove it to you but yeah I use all different kinds of brands in my kits I even have a couple of Sigma right here so I mean I just use all the brands just ones and shapes that I like oh side note this can be used for more than just brushes. I've worked with multiple hairstylists who also use this. You can pull these out and all of that. But anyways, to the side here, I have a mask. I have my... Uh, what is this? I have my palette here to mix liquid products and cream products. And then I use my cute little ColourPop mirror, which everybody loves, so I keep it here. Also from the brand My Kit Co, if you're looking for the tiniest Q-tips to ever exist, My Kit Co has the tiniest, tiniest ones. So I will link you to them on Beautylish. Highly recommend looking into their products, whether you're a makeup artist or not. They have awesome storage solutions. To this side, I don't have much. I have another palette here, but I'll normally, you know, I'll put my keys, my cards, all of that here it's my purse here is really awesome you can put tissues whatever right here <laughs> I have tip money that I need to put in my wallet I have some antibacterial hand wipes obviously but you can see how thoughtful this is there are just pockets everywhere it all is able to be cleaned really easily even when you pull out the acrylic stuff there's pockets in here I haven't talked too much about my kit co on my channel but it is a makeup artistry brand that I highly highly recommend it has this on the back as well that you can put on a different bag or a handle. So I really, really do love this. And I have a few other styles of bags from them, but this is the one that I've been using lately. All right, you guys, you're going to have to <sighs> see all this stuff because this is the best way for me to present this. But this is the most game-changing bag for doing makeup. For me, I find I set up so much faster, I clean up so much faster, I know where everything is. This holds 80% of all of the products that I'm going to use in this little bag. These are my most important products for my kit. 
And I wanted to make sure I put this video up because Muse Beauty Pro, which is where I got this bag from, are having a really great deal on this. It's for their Buy This Get That sale. So this bag is originally $160, which by the way, it's worth $160 to me. But it's on sale right now. You can get this bag for $112. And you also get this with no additional price on top, which is a brush book. I use this more so for personal travel, but I will show you because it actually fits into this bag perfectly. But this is what I use. I even recommend this for traveling as well. My mom has hers. If you missed the live where I talked about this, my mom uses this to travel as well and she loves it because it really protects your beauty products. This doesn't need to be only used for makeup. When my mom travels, she puts her toiletries and jewelry and her makeup all in this because it holds so much. So it's great for travel. It's this hard casing. It's not super hard. It still is a little bit soft, but it's going to protect your makeup when you travel because it's hard. But again, you can get this and this for $112. So now's the time to get this if you're interested. You saw in the beginning, that's why I showed you in the beginning. I have this on top of my suitcase because the handle fits right through this, making it so easy for me when I'm going to these crazy houses and mansions and venues for these weddings, a lot of times, you know, I'm going upstairs that are, I don't know, I feel a lot of times I'm like going up the steps to get to the bridal suite. And it just comes so in handy to put this right on top of my suitcase. So let's get into the goods. I will have the link down to this bag in the description box. I do earn a commission because I am an affiliate with Muse, but I mean, my mom has purchased hers with her own money. So don't let that fool you. And here is what it looks like when I open it. Um, I'll get a little bit closer in a second, but this is everything. It holds so much makeup, you guys. And all I do when I put it out on my table at work I unzip all of these and I stand up all the products like this, you know, and I'm ready to go. I'm all set up. So let's get a little closer. Like I said, mine is a little bit messy because I haven't cleaned or restocked it yet from my last wedding, but all of these are connected by Velcro right here. And they offer on Muse different size bags, but they do come with some. But you can personalize it to how you want. And they all zip open. And I love that this is plastic, so it's easy to be clean. The only one that does not have Velcro is this one up here. So it comes with four bags in this set. I believe these two and these two. So I actually purchased these two separately. As you can see, if, even if you have to buy these two separately, it all fits. Or another great option, um, instead of getting these two, you would have these come with it. And then you'll get the Eastern brush book. And look, you guys, the Eastern brush book fits perfectly on top of there. So you don't need to buy any extra bags if you want to organize it this way. Like my suggestion, keep makeup in here, toiletries in here, jewelry in here, all of your extras. It's just amazing. But anyways, back to the makeup stuff. I have a couple random samples right here. I don't know, just in case. Sometimes I feel like I might need these products. I've never used them, so I guess I don't. So up here at the very top, which is very, very messy, I don't stay super organized. I keep hair clips, which is extremely important to get the hair out of my client's face. These are my alcohols to keep everything sanitary. You can see I need to restock those. Hand sanitizer. Wow, I've been pushing through it. I have a little Cinema Secrets brush cleanser. This is perfect for intense cleaning right on the spot. It dries so fast. I use micellar water from Garnier. You know, people need to start coming to me with cleaner faces. I always feel like you know how you can't get mascara off at night? I always am wiping off people's mascara in the morning. I normally keep a lot of cotton pads, but I use them all uh, during my last wedding. So I have to restock from my suitcase. So I only have this guy right here. Urban Decay All Nighter MAC Fix Plus. This is a daily brush cleanser from Sephora that I'll sometimes use, not too often though. I have a couple sponges. I don't use these too often, but I keep a couple just in case. I squeeze a bunch of Q-tips and mascara wands in here. I just keep them in the plastic packaging that they come with. 
I have some lip wands and we have sharpener and then this is also for the brush cleanser. So when I'm working, I have them all standing up like this. And then when I clean up, I just kind of push them down, zip them up, and we're good to go. So this is like my sanitation tools. It's kind of the boring guy right here. So down here, I keep eyebrows and eyeliners. So I often use this Vizzy Art eyebrow palette just because it has so many different colors. I typically tend to stay up to these three, but sometimes I dig in here. I don't use the bottom too much. They do have a wax, so you can make it into more of a pomade, but I find that the powders work just fine. You can also use these as eyeshadows, but I mostly just use these for eyebrow powders. I have a couple other colors that I really like. I just really like the color of this Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder in the shade number three. So I keep this one in here. And then I also really like the color of this ABH Dark Brown. This honestly is a little bit old. I should probably get rid of it. I don't even use it too much anymore. So I'm mostly just using the Viseart. I have a couple Urban Decay eye primers. So if I have a client tell me that they are very, very oily, I definitely make sure I use an eye primer. I have my eyelash curler here. Uh, right now, I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. Make sure it is waterproof. <laughs> So that's my current mascara. I actually do need to replace it. I also use a little Too Faced glitter glue if I want some extra shimmer. I have a lot of just mixtures of eyeliners and eyebrow pencils. I have a lot of colors of the ABH Brow Wiz. If somebody has very, very sparse eyebrows, I'll go to a pencil. I have a MAC eyebrow pencil. Then I have an ABH duo pencil to really carve out the brows. I also have eyeliners here. So I use the Esum dual sided eyeliners because I have every color I could need. And I use these extremely often. Not everybody wants black eyeliner. So I have a brown and gold. I have a black and platinum and a plum and pink. I also really like the Urban Decay glide on eye pencils. I think they last a really long time. So I have a metallic brown and a black that I use. I told you guys, the pot liner that I use in my kit is MAC Black Track Fluid Line. So I have that here. And then, so for unruly eyebrows or if I just want somebody's brows to last a long time, I use Maybelline Gray Lash to glue them down. And then I have my Shiseido Lash Curler. So that's what's in here. In here, I keep my base stuff and lip stuff. It's kind of random, but I didn't have another place for my lip stuff, so I threw him in here after all. But I absolutely love Embryolisse. I find them to be very universal for different skin types. So this Late Cream Concentrate is amazing, amazing, amazing for dry skin, which is what I find to be the majority of my clients. So I have this giant one. It's awesome. I also use the eye cream, and then I also have one for oily skin. So Embryolisse is a makeup artist's secret, amazing, amazing base products. I also use Smashbox Primer Oil, so if somebody is severely dry, and I also like to use this a lot on mature skin types, this is fantastic. If somebody really needs pore filling or just needs something to smooth the skin, I have the Touch and Soul No Pore Blum Primer. This is awesome. Um, I don't use this. I added this one day, but this is the Makeup Primer Spray, and I've never used it, so I couldn't tell you. I also have the Smashbox Smooth and Blur. I don't need both of these in here. I should move one out. But those are all of the primers that I use. Prepping the skin is so important. When you aren't aware of what skincare somebody is using, and a lot of times you can tell people don't use the skincare they need to be using and prep their skin properly, it's up to me. So I like to have a lot of options. And then I have some of my go-to lip products that I use a lot. Um, I have my ColourPop Lippy Balm. These are my top two lipsticks that I use. This Lorac shade in Visionary for somebody who asks for nude. No, I don't put it directly on their lips. I use a spatula and scrape it off. And then my favorite wedding color of all time, my most used lipstick on brides, is Autumn Rose from Flower Beauty. This is like my second one. 
love this it's gorgeous i have a clear gloss if anybody wants glossy lips this is a so juicy from ColourPop, and then i just have a multitude of lip liners charlotte tilbury pillow talk is my most used but just a lot of random colors i think you know as i run out i will always have charlotte tilbury but the nicks are so good and they're so much more affordable so i think eventually i will phase the max out and replace them with the nicks and that's all with this bag i have more lip products that you'll see later on but these are kind of the ones that i tend to grab for the most often so i just like to keep them in this bag okay let's move over to the other side i find concealers to be such a personal thing so i like to have a ton of different concealers so i keep all of my concealers in here i have a lot i love the ket cosmetics translucent powder so i just keep this here i actually started using not their translucent but their colored press powders and you'll see that later on but this obviously you only need one color for so i keep it up here and I use so many different concealers, you guys. Uh, my most used is probably the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind because they have some of the best colors and undertones in this line. I also really like my Too Faced Born This Way concealers for more coverage. Mature Skin, the First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer is my favorite. I also really love Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It's just a really great standard concealer. Keep some Milani. I literally, I have so many, you guys. I even have a bunch of the Tarte Shape Tapes. I don't even really like these, but I like to mix these in with other concealers because they do provide so much coverage. So we have a lot. I have a lot of color correctors in here as well. I just, I use so many based on the client and what I see. Here's where I keep my eyelashes. This I really need to stock up because I ran out of a lot. I had a big wedding last week, but normally I keep way more. I have my lash glue. You have to use the Ardell Duo with the green because it dries so much faster, which is so important i use this this is really interesting this weird looking lash curler that i got from sephora i use this to press the false lashes and the natural lashes together and it helps add a little bit of curl and it's a little bit easier to maneuver as a makeup artist you know i have different types of lash glue i have some black just a lot i don't know and then my scissors to cut the lashes tweezers as you can see, I ran out, but the Ardell 424s are amazing. Ardell Wispies are a classic. I have some 421s. We have so many, and I have more in my suitcase right now. And then I have my individuals as well, which I hate using individuals, but sometimes situations really do call for it. So that's what's in here. But with lashes, I'm always playing around, so I always just have a lot. <laughs> Okay, and here's probably the most exciting one for you. These are where I keep my main palettes <clears throat> and big powder products. It's a hodgepodge of things up here. This is the newest addition. I picked up the Hoola Contour Quad in my most recent Sephora haul, I believe. And how amazing is this? We have Hoola Light, Hoola, Hoola Caramel, and Toasted absolutely love this it is amazing i keep my viseart paris nudes this is what i mostly use for eyelid colors for brides i highly recommend it if you're into bridal makeup it's amazing these are the exact kind of lid colors the majority of my brides are looking for this is a new addition as well i brought this with me to my last trial day um i did add in the wayne goss pearl palette i'm still deciding if this gets a permanent home or not but I did enjoy it for some rosy toned kind of looks. This was my go-to bronzer before I got the Benefit palette. But the Marc Jacobs, Tantastic. I mean, it lasts forever. I've used this so many times. This is my second one. It's just a great universal color. I have my Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold palette. Brides really love the way that this looks on their skin one of my favorites i'll use them as eyelid colors as well charlotte tilbury palette um which i think i'm gonna retire this very soon it's been in my kit for a long time and i don't really use it as often but it does come in handy sometimes uh i'm always trading this out with some other blush palettes i have a lot of brush 
blush palettes that I worked through, but I do like the Tarte Amazonian Clay formula because they last a really long time. I get very good feedback on my brides from this formulation, so I'm hoping they come out with another Amazonian Clay formulation palette very soon because I love this for brides. This is essential for mature skin or just brides who want super soft glow to the skin. This Hourglass Ambient Lighting Trio is the best and I find it looks the best on mature skin. Sometimes I'll put it all over the skin. Sometimes I'll use this to highlight or I'll mix these two to highlight. Sometimes I mix all three to highlight the skin. It just depends but I really like setting mature skin with this powder. And finally up here I do have more palettes but these again are my go-to's guaranteed to almost use them every job. This is the Grande Pro 1X, which has my essential colors. I've told you guys many times that this is my most used palette, so I keep that in here as well. And it's just about squeezing them in and getting them <laughs> to fit. And boom, I mean, all of my makeup has gone through so much in this bag and I love how this bag keeps it all organized. So now we are going to go into my suitcase, which is a bit of a mess, but it does have the rest of the products that I use and restocks and all of that. Let's take a look into my suitcase. So this is honestly just a suitcase that I stole from my parents. It's the perfect size. It's basically where I dump everything else. So what I like specifically about this suitcase, it's by H-E-Y-S is what the brand's name is. Right here, if I need to grab for some powders, I have them all in here. So it's very quick and easy to grab for. And I just have um, an ABH contour kit here. I don't really use these too often, but they've come in handy occasionally. And then I have some more Ket setting powders. I really need to depot these. I just haven't gotten around to doing these yet. But these are my deeper range ones. Um, my lighter ones are in a palette and I need to get these into a palette. And then, I don't know, random, but I have an extra waterproof mascara because mine is drying out. Okay, and now get ready. I'm preparing you. Inside is kind of a mess. Okay. It's a bit of a mess, obviously. Like right now, I always bring bags with me to put trash in. Obviously, I need to get rid of this and replace it with a new bag, but I do like to have somewhere to put my trash because I make a mess. I keep my paper towels in here. And then this is my bag of liquid foundations because I mostly use airbrush makeup, but sometimes I just feel like liquid will work better on clients. And then I keep extras for ranges of skin tones like I have items for very very fair skin tones here and items for deep skin tones because I find I typically don't need them all the time readily available but if I do have a client you know I am ready like this Vesca bronzer is so light it really wouldn't work on anybody but if you're very fair it's awesome so Lots of other options here, just in case. I mostly use airbrush makeup on my clients. That's what the company I work for prefers that we use. So I have a Tem2 Pro Plus. I love this, it's nice and small. I really do enjoy airbrush makeup as well, so that's my airbrush kit. Here's my powder foundation palette that I was talking about. This is from Ket Cosmetics. For the longest time I was using translucent, but lately I've been using this palette a lot. I like that little added bit of coverage because I can highlight and shade the face with this now, so this has been used a lot by me recently. And in here are my extra palettes. So I don't necessarily reach for these every wedding, but I like to have them available to me depending on what looks the client asks for. So I have my Sultry palette, of course, which I actually dig into this quite frequently. Modern Renaissance has been awesome in my bridal kit. Soft Glam, of course. I have the Nicole Guerrero highlight palette, which honestly, I don't use that often. I need to make a bigger effort to use that. I also keep a lot of Stila glitters just in case again you know when I first got into doing makeup I thought a lot of clients would ask for glitter my clientele really doesn't but I still like to have these just in case and I have my Bobbi Brown um palettes which this is all of the lips isn't this amazing I found this at the CCO 
absolutely love it. So that gives lots of lip options. And then I also have the concealer and foundation palette, which again, I don't use too often. I tend to use the correctors, but I do, I do have a pretty good kit of complexion products, so I don't need to reach for this as often, but it has come in handy for things like cream contouring and correcting. And then on this side are kind of my extras. I mean, here are my Tem2 foundations, and then I keep new and fresh foundations in here. I also have some blushes in here, but I don't really like airbrush blushes. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. This is where all my dirty brushes go. I need to leave this out because these all need cleans, but these keep me organized between my clean and dirty brushes. This is from Morphe. I have a lot of them now because they're amazing, but highly recommend getting something like this if you're a makeup artist. I just find it keeps my brushes really sanitary and separates my brushes. I have random extras thrown in here, like some extra lash glue, some extra lashes as well, just in case. And then here are some more lip options as well. I like to have a lot of options, as you can see. These are my Danessa Myricks cream lip palettes that I depotted. Haven't used this yet because I only just recently depotted these, but I'm really excited to. These are awesome. They can be used for cream and lip, but I mostly use them for lip. And then I just have a lot of different lip pencils, lip glosses, lipsticks in here, depending on what the client asks for. And then last thing, I have my extra cotton pads. And there we have it. That was my highly requested makeup kit video. I mean, I feel like in this last year especially, I really mastered everything that I've needed and my kit and my kit size. And I'm very happy with what bags I use now, what products I bring with me. You know, the first two years that I was doing my artistry, I was really playing with things. I used all types of different makeup bags, storage and all of that. And this year, I've never felt so content with what I have and how I traveled. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. This was really fun and it's a different side of makeup that you guys don't see. I tend to use a lot of different products than you see me use personally on my own channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.